Hey there everyone and welcome to this video by Coding House. In this video, we will be learning how to hash a password received from the user end and securely save it to your database. So, let's begin. So guys, let's begin and fire up our terminal. You can use your CMD or whatever terminal you like and we can move to our desktop and then we can create a folder over here by the name of node hashing and then we'll go inside this folder nice and tidy we'll open up visual studio code this will be our code editor for this video by using the command code space period and i will be using yarn for my package management because it's a little bit faster than node and i don't want you to wait while it installs packages so if you don't have yarn you can simply install it using npm install hyphen g space yarn but if you like to use npm you are free go ahead with that so i'll just telling you the commands in the yarn itself in the npm also so to initialize a node package here you can run the command yarn space in it hyphen y similarly in npm you will be doing npm space in it and hyphen y hit enter and you'll see it just takes one second to initialize one package over there now we need two packages in the beginning so those packages are yarn add and we need express and we will be needing ejs because this will be our view engine and this will be our server so in node npm you will be doing npm install express and space ejs so yarn add express ejs it will just take a few seconds to install express as well as ejs in our project until it installs we can go ahead and make our entry point which is index.js now it has it has installed those two what is this uh, i don't want to open it right now so it has installed ejs and express and we can go ahead and create our server so const express require express so that we have express in our project and then we can go ahead and create an app using this express instance we can make sure that it listens on the port 3000 and we can have a callback so that we can see an output when it starts listening we can log server is listening nice now we can go here and we can run the command yarn or maybe node space index.js so you can see server is listening but i will be using another package by the name of nodemon and yarn add nodemon dev will add this as a developer dependency simply you can go in npm install nodemon space hyphen hyphen save dev so this will install this as a developer dependency in my project so nodemon simply watches the file for changes and whenever there is a change it will just quickly refresh our server for us you'll see this in action just in a little while it's done now it's done okay now we can go ahead in our package.json and we can create a script if you used npm you will have this script automatically created for you with a test also so just telling you we can create a script by the name of dev star and we are going to call this node mod space index.js so it will be simply watching our index.js for changes it will be monitoring index.js for changes now we can go ahead and run the command yarn space run dev star so it will run this script and now node mod is fired up and we can see if we change anything here using the using this uh, on 3000 so and if you save it if you go back to your terminal you'll see it automatically refreshes our server since we will be using EJS so let's set up the middleware by app dot set and what are we setting we are setting view engine and we want it to be EJS let's go ahead and create a folder for our views and We'll create a view engine by the name of index of EJS. It will be our home view, home view. So if you use Amit, you can use this abbreviation 
this exclamatory mark and hit enter so you'll see this simple boilerplate over here so we'll say node hash and we'll create a simple form which will be a post form and the action will be hash pass will be configured in this route and I'm going to write and we will need an input which will be password type by the name of pass and by the ID of pass and the placeholder will be enter your pass enter your pass nice we also need a submit button so we'll use this input call and submit this is another emmet abbreviation so you can see and we can give it a value of generate hash we will not be going into UI for this pro this video because that's not in the scope and similarly we will not be covering how to save your hashed path inside database because I'm assuming that you know how to save this into your database that is why you are here to learn how to hash your password right so let's create a uh, global variable by the name of hashed pass and we will be storing our password inside this hashed part this in string type okay now to hash your pass you will be needing a package which goes by the name of pcrypt so let's install this package yarn add pcrypt which will be node space in npm space install pcrypt if you are using npm so it will take a few seconds to install pcrypt in our project just a few seconds so it is done right come on that's taking a lot of time than usual so yes bcrypt is installed and now we can include it in our index.js by using the command bcrypt space require bcrypt nice now we will need some routes so we will be creating our home route which will be a get type so this will be our home route and we will simply render our form in this route so if you know this we can go rest dot render and we will rendering our index dot ejs and now we can also go ahead and run the server and check if it is working so we are run to start fire up your browser and go to localhost 3000 we are listening to port 3000 right now if you see it's simply opening our form here this is nice this is working now we need to create the route for this submit button over here and this is hash pass if you remember from our index.js file it is hash with a capital p pass so app dot post the route is hash pass which will take request and response and then we can simply use the request to get this password now if you want to get the request from the form we will be using URL encoded so you can go app dot use and this is express not express dot URL encoded and it is extended false nice now uh, we have an access to request dot body remember the name is pass so we will have this in request dot body dot pass so if you want to simply uh, use this uh, bcrypt it has two methods you can use synchronous method or the simple the asynchronous method i will be using the asynchronous method because that's the feature available in your beautiful javascript uh, beautiful javascript with node.js so we'll make an async function over here so that we can await for the pass and we will set our global hashed passwords to that hash pass now um we will use this bcrypt and we'll await for it so await bcrypt and we'll pass in the password which will be inside that request dot base unit request dot body dot pass and then we'll use 10 salt rounds that will make it simpler now if you go ahead and log both of them we'll log hash password we'll log our normal password first to so we'll go request dot body dot pass and then we will need a okay we will use an extra line over here and we will now print our hashed pass right and since so to make sure the server doesn't 
response with an error we'll use uh, a response over here so this will be rest dot send we'll be sending not rendering anything that password is hash this is a simple message so if you go ahead to our server check if our server is restarted and go ahead and enter a pass I am entering the name of the channel and if you click on generate hash now we are seeing this error because uh, I have did a misconfiguration we need to use the bclip.hash function and now if we save this and we go back to our server you'll see it generates a hash using this insecure password which is coding owls it generates this hash now this hash is saved and we can go ahead and compare if it is right or wrong so let's create another view over there and let's call it compare pass dot okay compare dot ejs makes sense we'll be have using the same form we just need to, to submit to somewhere add somewhere else this is compare pass <coughs> sorry you can save it and we can go to index.js we'll be creating another get route which will be on uh, compare and we will be using this request dot response object now we can uh, simply response dot render we can simply render that compare dot ejs right so save this go to our server on slash compare we'll see the same form is there so rather than generate hash we will need to change it to compare hash so that we can distinguish between the two so let's refresh it and you'll see compare hash now we, what we want is whenever we submit this form to compare pass we want it to compare if the password is correct or not so we go ahead and go to a post in our app and create this compare pass route again the request and response so you'll see uh, we can use a function by which goes by the name of compare so we'll be using a boolean so let's create a boolean of a uh, equal let's call it is equal right and we will be again using this asynchronous approach here so we'll use a sync and then we'll use a wait we'll use this bcrypt.compare function and remember in this bcrypt.compare function you pass in a simple and insecure password first which will be in our request dot body dot pass and then you pass in the hashed password which is our global variable so we'll use this hashed pass now if this is equal i want you to response dot render not render rather send message equal and if it is not equal you can simply send a message of not equal makes sense a pretty simple sense now if the server is running again we can go ahead and remember since this is in our server this password is not stored in our database evidence every time the server refreshes it itself it gets vanished so we will need to create it again so we will go and we'll go on our home route and we'll create another password again for our coding ops create rate hash and we can see that hash the password now if i just simply uh, go to compare and enter the same password over here and click on compare hash you can see it says equal and if I enter some different password like a random password you'll see it says not equal so you can see in this video we created this hash and no human can read it back or trace it back using bcrypt we created a hash password which is secure to save in your server and uh, of course you will not be uh, logging out the password here but you will be simply saving this hash in your database so this is how you hash your password in the node.js project and secure your privacy of the customers using this hashed password so that anyone in your t developer team also doesn't know the password of the user so this is pretty much it for this video if you have not subscribed to our channel yet please subscribe to coding owls and hit the like like button and the bell icon also 
You can also comment if you want video on some other topics we can make on it. And as always, thanks for watching.